Hello designer, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gigi, I am a fashion designer based in London. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make high-waisted bikini bottom block. We can use this uh, high-waisted bikini bottom block to create a different style of bikini bottoms or even lingerie bottoms. I have reduced all the measurement to a negative ease. All we have to do is to make sure when we do use this block, we have to use it on a uh, stretch fabric. I highly recommend it to you buy or use um, a fabric that is for swimwear and two-way two -way stretch fabric or four-way stretch fabric for swimwear.
designer now that we have finished creating a bikini bottom block something that i like to do and i highly recommend you do as well is to stick your pattern block on a very hard cardboard or even laminate because when you do that let's say it's just going to make your pattern block much more durable because we're going to be using a lot to create a different style i highly recommend Next step, designer, we're going to sew this bikini bottom together. If you know how to sew the bikini bottom, you can skip this part. But as we know, some of us, we're beginners, so it's nice to show the other designer how to actually put it together. Your fabric unfold, cut one for the front and one for the back piece, and repeat with the lining. Now place your main fabric, right side together, front and back, and see, uh, in on the crash seam and the side seams. Repeat with the lining pins on the side seam and on the crash seam and make sure you leave a hole. We're going to use that hole to turn our swimsuit right side together afterward. So your side seam and your crotch seam. For my one, I haven't added any seam allowance because obviously I didn't want to spend too much time adding seam allowance because this one is a sample. But I highly recommend you add the seam allowance. And how do you add the seam allowance? Seam allowance for your swimwear is all based on the width of the elastic that you're going to use. Let's say example, if the width of your elastic is 0.6 centimeter, so you add that seam allowance to your swimwear pattern. That's basically a designer. Now that we have sewn the side seam and the cross seam, and we left a hole, place your lining right side together with the main fabric and then sew the waist seam. Obviously, I am going to do a reversible swimsuit designer. I like to do the reversible bikini bottom because it makes your swimsuit much more cleaning. I sewed so many and I still sell a lot of swimwear and my customer, they love the reversible bikini bottom or swimsuit. Now you can add elastic. Now turn your bikini bottom right side together and we're going to do the burrito method. Just roll on one side and then grab the back opening and then pin right side together. And then just pull as you sew along. Attach elastic where we just sew on. What I like to do, I I usually just add the elastic straight away because that way it's just it won't confuse you. Now turn your bikini bottom right side out, and we're going to sew the other leg opening. Do the same thing. Roll one side of your leg opening this way. I pin, so that's where we're going to sew. And then if you grab it, wrap around right side together. And then make sure the seam or align together. And then just sew, pull as you sew. And before I forget, designer, make sure when you do reversible, you always attach your elastic on your main fabric like this. So if you see here, I am attaching the elastic on my main fabric. Always make sure you do that because if you don't do that, is going to show that fun color on the other side. 
and now put your bikini right side out through that hole that we left and your bikini bottom is done designer don't forget to close the hole well done we're done i'll see you on my next video thank you designer